Good morning guys and welcome or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shelby and today I'm going to take you or actually like this week I'm going to take you through kind of like a week in my life two and a half weeks out from show day. Um, if you don't know I do bikini competitions and I'm currently two and a half and four and a half weeks out from my competitions this year. So right now um, I did my fasted cardio this morning. I had an hour on the Stairmaster and now still fasted, I am getting blood work. So blood work, super, super important on um, prep especially, but also just make sure you get your blood work done maybe like once a year, you just check, make sure everything is good. And so last time I got my blood work was before I started prep um about 25 weeks or like 20 weeks ago so now i'm gonna be checking my levels again and making sure everything is still good last time i got them done everything was literally perfect like i had everything in normal range literally a plus first time ever getting straight a on a test you know and show you what i eat today so without further ado um also if you haven't already follow me on my socials instagram tiktok only fans and subscribe if you haven't already let's go and get my blood work done finally just got home it's 11 now that took so freaking long and i'm so freaking hungry um but i'll show you guys what i'm gonna have for my first meal we have this a nice yummy bowl of oats. It's just oats with cinnamon and stevia. And then I put some sugar-free syrup on it as well. I have egg whites as well as one whole egg. This is my favorite meal of the day. Also, there is a really big update in this video. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what that is, but it does have to do with prep and I will be discussing it and everything later in this video. After I have my breakfast to help me feel full and like not wanna keep eating, um, I have my greens, which I put in here with water, and then I make a coffee. I just have cold brew, sugar-free, sweetener, and then a little bit of almond milk. My next meal, which is just green beans and some shrimp. And then I also made some tea because I'm so cold right now. Meal three is Greek yogurt, Mio, and stevia for flavor and sweetness, and then just some frozen berries on top. Just got to the gym, and honestly, not really feeling like working out today, but we are so close to show day that I'm just putting my head down and just grinding through the days, but we have a pull workout, back and biceps, and then 60 more minutes of lower intensity cardio. So I just do treadmill walking for that, mainly just to get more steps in since um, throughout the day, I don't really walk around that much. Let's get this workout and one day closer to show day. Just got back from the gym and I was going to record my workout today, but it was not, not a good workout day. Just was not feeling it. So I just like pushed through and just got it done with. So now I'm going to eat obviously and then just chill the rest of the day. And I'll probably catch up with you guys again on Thursday because yeah, I don't really have anything going on tomorrow. Next meal is lean ground beef with green beans. And my last meal of the day is going to be the yogurt with berries again. now 
Thursday and today I'm actually gonna take you guys through my leg workout. I feel like I can make it through it today and get some content for you guys. And before we head to the gym, I'm going to do a Buff Bunny try on haul. So I got just a few items from their most recent launch called Naked. And I'm really excited because I got a one piece and I've never tried a one piece like gym attire before. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying that on. So I got five items. I got two sports bras, two shorts, and the one piece. I got everything in a size small. I could have sized down in the shorts to an extra small, but in my off season, I'm more of a small. So I got this super cute sports bra. It's called the Twisted Sports Bra. And I got this in the color Stardust. I love this design. I kind of wish it was a racer back because um, these ones tend to fall off my shoulders a little bit. But this is in their Newberry fabric and it's really soft and I love that. Next, I got the four inch legacy shorts in Stardust to match that sports bra. I love matching sets. And this color will look really, really good on me when I have my self tanner on. Um, Cause right now I haven't been tanning as much because I'm getting ready for my competition in two weeks. And I'm just kind of letting the tan uh, come off so that when I get my spray tan for the show, it will stay on me better because you're not supposed to have anything on your skin before you get your spray tan. Next, I got the reversible sports bra in the color Journey Dark Brown and Stardust because it's reversible so you can wear it in this color. I love this um, style. This is like the Flow Y bra or something from Lululemon and I have one of those and it's literally one of my favorite sports bras but then you can also wear it this way, which would also match those shorts, which I didn't even think about because I got it for uh, this brown side really, but super cute. This one doesn't come with cup pads, but I don't use cup pads. And to match those, I got another pair of the four inch legacy shorts in the color Journey Dark Brown. These are just their staple shorts. Legacy shorts are the best. And the exciting piece, I got the Ivy bodysuit in black. So this is what it looks like. I'm really, really excited to try this on. It's a high neck. This nice crisscross detailing on the back. It does have cup pads and I believe that this is a four inch short. So let's try these on. Here is the cross sports bra with the legacy shorts. Again, the Newberry fabric is super soft and I really, really like the way that this is cut out. I love how like high it comes right here and yeah. These are true to size. And like I said, I'll wear this one more when I'm like have self tanner on because it will pop more and not blend in with my skin tone. But I love these. Definitely 10 out of 10. Here is the next set. This is in the dark brown color and the reversible sports bra. This is one of my favorite cuts of sports bras. I just think it's super flattering and I love it for upper body days. <laughs> Again, really love this set and it's true to size. Okay, of course I had to save the best for last. Wow, I love, love this. High neck things make me look super jacked as well. So that's a plus. <laughs> but this is so cute. I got this in a size small. I'm 5'2", 
around 120 pounds right now. And I love this. I would wear this to the gym, but then I would also, you could definitely dress this up. I'm going to a bodybuilding show tomorrow and I was thinking of wearing this. So I'm glad that it fits. I literally think that this is so cute. That's gonna wrap up the try and haul and now I'm gonna get ready and let's go to the gym. Let's get this leg day started. So with being two weeks out from my competitions, I'm just gonna do a pretty simple leg day. Um, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna start by warming up with some hamstring curls. I personally like laying hamstring curls better than seated, but it's just preference, so whatever you prefer. Next, we're gonna go into single leg RDLs. Make sure you're keeping your back and neck neutral, squeezing with your core to support your back and pulling all the way through with your hips to really feel it in your glutes and hamstrings. I prefer doing this method of single leg RDLs with my other leg on the bench as support, but you can do them without the bench as well. Of course, we gotta do some hip thrusts. This is just gonna help target the glutes, the hamstrings, the tie-ins, all of that, really feeling the squeeze at the top, going slow and controlled. And sometimes less weight is better so that you can really feel the exercise. Lastly, we're gonna do some hip abductions just to help target the outer glutes. I like to lean forward. I feel like I feel it more in my glutes and not so much in my hips. And that's gonna wrap up this leg day, guys. It was pretty easy, simple, straight to the point, nothing crazy. Um, sometimes that's all you need. You just gotta get through the motions and you don't need to overcomplicate anything. wrap up this YouTube video, I'm going to give some prep updates. So as some of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, I got a new coach and a whole new team and all of that. So just a little backstory. I was with my previous coach since um, January. We did a little bit of an off season together and then we started prep in February. We planned to do the 20 week prep together, both my shows and all of that. So long story short, I just wasn't aligning with the my previous coach. Um, I just didn't feel like the support or the like energy like it was so bland it was so monotone like there was no effort on his end i felt like being put in and i'm not saying that i need someone to hold my hand or like always like give me like confidence and like motivation like no that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that the way that they do their business is just very abc like there's no there's no effort really. It's just like some check-ins and like a little reply and then that's it. Like, so yeah, I mean, there's no bad blood. I just, it wasn't the team, the coach for me. And I feel like the way that he was running my prep was completely unrealistic. Like it was so not needed. Um, basically just crash dieted me. I was at like very, very, very low carbs, two hours of cardio every single day, like 10 weeks out. Like it's so unnecessary. And now I'm with my new coach who is Alex Toplin and I'm with Team Perform, which has been absolutely amazing. 
I've been eating more, doing less cardio, and looking better. So, yes, I switched about two weeks, two and a half weeks ago. I was like four weeks out from my shows, which is not ideal. And the thing that's pretty upsetting is that I feel like I would be in a much, much better place mentally and physically if I had started with Alex as my coach and not my previous coach. So it's, it's hard because I feel like a lot of my prep, I was making very, very little progress and it was just putting way too much stress on my stress and fatigue on my body for no reason and now i'm feeling so much better physically and mentally i'm eating more like i said and of course prep like is very very mentally challenging and i know that and i still even with alex have very bad days mentally but my physical isn't what's suffering anymore which it was with my previous coach and What's awesome about Team Reform, um, since I've been with them, is it's a huge community. Like, so um, Team Reform has like 300 clients, but there's like five coaches, I think, and Alex is the main coach. We all have WhatsApp chat groups. Like, we have Alex's team, there's like the whole team, and then there's like littler chat groups as well, like people who are doing like the summer shredding in July show, the summer shredding in October show, and people are always chatting in there throughout the day, like giving advice, giving motivation, just like you just feel supported. Like the energy is absolutely amazing. And not only the team as a whole, but Alex as an individual has really, like you can tell that this is his passion and he loves what he does and he's gonna be there for you and like his check-ins he sends video responses he checks in back super quick and like the amount of effort he puts in is night and day compared to my previous coach like my meal plan my training plan all of that is so 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 much more structured and it's honestly been amazing and i am so happy that i switched because I think I would have quit competing if I had stayed with my previous coach. So yeah, that's pretty much the big update. Like I said, I've still been having really bad mental days. Like I've cried a couple of times and all of that, but that's just the reality of prep. You're never gonna feel 100%. You're always gonna feel like you're not ready, but you just have to trust your coach, trust the process, and find a coach that works best for you. Um, I feel like even with the short amount of time that I've been with Alex, him and I have such a better connection and relationship, which I never had with my previous coach or team. There was just, it just wasn't for me. And that's all I've really got to say. So we're doing a lot better. I am super excited for my future with Alex and Team Reform. And I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap up this video here. If you enjoyed it, please comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and OnlyFans. And we are so close, guys. My next video is going to be a peak week video which I'm super excited for. I'm gonna take you guys through my whole week, getting my nails done, waxing, check-ins, all that stuff. Make sure that you're subscribed so you guys don't miss out on that video coming very soon. Love you guys.